see here. Um, well, we had a little snafu with the Rusco turntable that I sold. Um, FedEx managed to break a part on this. Now, I am get, I'm sending the guy the part from mine. This is my Rusco, and as you can tell, it says he has number one. Uh, this one says number two, right there. This is the number two uh, turntable from WEDO Radio. And the other way you can tell the difference is this one has the Microtech tone arm, as you can see, where his has the Micropoise tone arm. This one has the Microtech tone arm. But uh, anyway, the wonderful, nice folks at FedEx, I don't know how they managed to do this as well as I had the item packed, but this right here, this is where the idler wheel would actually sit on right here. The red idler wheel would rub the platter and make the thing turn against the motor shaft, which is there. I haven't done anything with this turntable yet. Um, this was one of my next projects. But anyway, um, they managed to break this right about where my finger is, right there. They managed to snap that in half. I don't know how they managed. It's solid metal. How I am, they must have dropped this thing like hell. And I know that FedEx is going to try to get around this. I took pictures of everything, including the packing job that I did. There's no way they're warming out of this. None. I swear to God, I will be in there with picket signs and news people and everything else. A FedEx is ass if they try to screw me with this. So, anyway, in the interim, I'm going to go ahead and purchase one of these for myself. Al wants to get his. Uh, his Rusco up and running, understandable. He paid bucks for it. I, I understand that. So I've already undone the clip underneath, and I'm actually going to sell, not sell, but send him this piece. This is what they broke. And right here, where my finger is, is where they managed to break that shaft. How do you break a piece of metal like that? What do, what do you what do you do? I mean, seriously, what did they do? But anyway, I am going to mail this to Al and get this so he can get his unit up and running and keep him happy. And hopefully he'll give me the positive feedback because I really am. This all happened Friday evening and it's Sunday evening and nobody's even open on Saturday and Sunday. And I'm already making things happen and trying to make him happy. So hopefully he'll leave me positive feedback and everything on eBay. Um, so anyway, L, yeah, I'm going to be sending this out your way. Uh, it's in my hand. I just have to box it up and send it safely. I will put so much padding around this. I swear to God, if they break this, I'll kill them. So anyway, L, this is coming your way, and uh, I'm going to order the replacement for mine. So as you can see, now mine has a giant hole where this was supposed to go right there. But anyway... Um, I'll send, I'll order a new one for mine and get this one sent to L so he can get his unit up and running. And FedEx, you better do good by me or else. Anyway, with that, I'm Randy. Okay, here's how we're going to package this puppy up. There's the, there's the idler arm for the Rusco, uh, Studio Pro-B. And I'm going to wrap it in this. It is a bubble wrap envelope kind of thing. You can see where I'm going to actually drop it in there. So let's do that right now. I'll pause this. Okay, it is rolled up in there. I guess you can see the outline of it. It's rolled up inside of there like a cocoon. I am going to roll this and roll this the other way. I'm going to make this thing have so much padding. Then it's going to go into with more padding and into this first class box here, which is plenty big enough for this little item. And uh, anyway, I'm going to put this in this box and send it off to L, and he better get it in one piece. This time I'm going to ship it regular USPS mail. So anyway, that's it. I'm Randy. Okay, the package is already to rock and roll out in the mail tomorrow, and there it is. You think I've written fragile enough on it? Fragile, do not crush. Fragile, do not crush. Fragile, do not crush. You know this is automatically tells them to go ahead and crush it. Um, 
Other side, Fragile Do Not Crush. Bottom of box, it's the bottom. Fragile Do Not Crush. There's the top of the box. Maybe we should stick one of those thickies on there, too. Man, Christ, man. I mean, seriously, they can't figure that out at this point. But anyway, Al, here's your package. It'll be in the mail tomorrow. So you should have it by the end of the week. And with that, I'm Randy.